all, all of us a very happy Independence Day related. And I would like to call upon Mr. Sushil Kheria, President of ATMA, for a few words. Thank you. A very good afternoon to all of us. Uh, this is a very informal thing you may not record. ATMA has not really spread out and reached out to all that it can and the process continues to go on. So I'm sure you know, after you go back from this seminar, uh, you will find time to go, out, go to our website and explore some things and see what other things we do. And for those who are members, uh, the non-members may grant me a couple of minutes to just tell them a few useful things. From all the members in the room, how many people are aware of a thing called My Atma on our website? How many members are not aware? Please show me your hands. How many members are not aware about My Atma? Okay. To get awareness, all you need to do is become conscious. So today you've heard that word. After you go back home, please log into the website and click open My Atma. Soon as you click open, you'll see a toolbar. And next to the toolbar on the right side is a kind of red bell. That red bell is a reminder that you know there are emails or friend requests that have come to you. My Atma in a nutshell is basically a dedicated private Facebook slash LinkedIn kind of a program we built for our members. More so, you know, over a time to filter. You no, know, in India there are too many people who are interested in technical analysis. But the people you should be interested in, in technical analysis are the ones who get serious enough to become part of an association like this. So much more filtered interaction place and you can you know, connect with each other as friends, you can write private emails through that. There used to be a chat box also there which we suspended for the time being because you know, the site has become too heavy and we migrated to a larger server and speed issues exist. A lot of cool tools exist in that, so we use that. And for all the people in this room, how many registered through the website? Please show me your hands. So there are some who have not registered through the website in any case. Once you finish your registration process, since you are definitely attending this event, you believe that you know, there will be something good at this event. And the good thing is to get a good speaker, a good topic, and to meet a lot of people who know them more, and, and to you know, build new business bridges. These educational meetings have two goals. Professionals cannot spend time only on networking. They need to take back some business tools with them some new analytical abilities at each meeting and we also have to find new friends, new business partners, new We have 60 more seconds. Since you are attending that event, you can contribute to make that event better by just clicking on the Facebook like page. So everybody on your Facebook will know that you are going to be at this event. And somebody who shares common interest with you can also explore this meeting. And right at the bottom of that page are, you know, uh, pages, you know, buttons for posting that event on Twitter or Facebook or wherever. So, so lots of social network buttons are there, make use of them. And how does an association come into existence and how does it grow? It can happen in many ways. But you know, the ideal way of everything in life is common sense driven. The common sense definition of an association is what? That some people associate with each other. You and I can be on a one-on-one -on -one basis, be friends, but when we grow an association, there are two things we do. Either we come to know a lot of people that exist in the association and start knowing those people and making professional friends or we can bring in our professional friends into the association and have a higher familiarity factor. So spare another minute and there is an invite friends button. Click open that, type out any message. The typical one could be I am very excited to attend this event and we will be meeting a lot of market professionals that makes sense. If you are free perhaps you should explore it too. And just punch in any number of email addresses in the two box. You don't have to share your friends list <coughs> or your client lists with ATMA. On a completely anonymous basis from the server without those addresses being saved, all of those people will come to know about the event that you are going to. And if you feel like, you know, promoting that might make it bigger, you might even add a line. I am a member and I am always privileged to get all of these meetings free, not just in Bombay but everywhere in India. And if you like, you can make in time, you're doing two things. You're letting your own professional circles know what you are doing for your own professional adva advancement. And you're also going to increase your circle of influence and you bring your circle of influence to Atma. 
and I think this high time we all start getting involved with the association. So the first step of involvement is let ATMA be known to your circles and you let your circles be known to ATMA. And there are many more tools on the site. Keep exploring them. Apply for you know becoming volunteers through volunteer groups or through specific interest groups. And of course, the discussion forum is a 24 by 7 ongoing meeting. You know, you can always write a post on the discussion forum at a time that is suitable to you, and somebody else will write a reply to it, and you can start discovering a very engaging mind on the same topic. And of course, you know, all posts on the discussion forum or on the My Atma are automatically forwarded to your registered email addresses, so you don't have to keep logging in.